Hi, I'm Akobi, and welcome back to more Frog Fractions. Now we just got through the text-based section. I'm just going to reread this little section because it plays right into the next screen that we're about to get into, and uh, we'll jump right into things. I really appreciate you guys bearing with me through the last episode. I mean, a whole text-based thing just typically is not very expedient. Okay. <clears throat> You lie down in the sleeping pod, close the lid, and drift off, secure them in 57 and something years, you'll return to Bug Mars. A wealthy frog. When you wake up, you're clearly not in your sleep pod. You blearily glance around to get your bearings, and you appear to have been sleeping on a heart-shaped bed, covered with roses. Much like I do. <clears throat> a voice comes from the next room. Awake already? A wispy human figure in a bathrobe. And Crown walks in. She bends over and kisses you on the nose, and suddenly you feel your body shifting. Yay! She laughs and claps. And you realize that you have been transmodified into a human form. Alright. Oh, oh no! I'm a human! Don't eat my fruit, yo! Oh hey, we actually saved one. No! No! Oh no! Watch out, man! They're eating your fruit! I know, chicken bird! Thank you! Whew. You wake with a start. What a horrible dream. You call your friend Draggy the Flying Dragon just to talk to someone. Yellow, Draggy says. I just had the worst nightmare. You explain the situation. I'm not sure that a support group for human bug eaters is really going to get much of a following. Draggy ponders. Maybe if we drummed up a little publicity first. I know just the PR agency. Five minutes later, Draggy shows up at your door dressed to the nines. He tosses a frog tuxedo at you. Put this on, babe. We're running for president. Yeah, 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 yeah. Awesome. Hey, hey, can it up. What say the allegations that you are not a natural-born citizen, that you're under 35, and that you're a frog? I am wounded. To that I say, let's get down. So at this point, you just button mash. That's the whole thing. All you do is just mash everything on your key, all the arrow keys on your keyboard. Because there's no penalty for missing. I mean, there's no penalty for pressing the buttons. There's penalties for missing, but there's no penalties for just mashing the buttons. Oh no, I'm missing everything! Wow, I'm doing really bad. There we go. I could dance like that frog. Oh, the constituency loves an underdog. You're a shoo for president. did it. Betsy Blue Bonnet. Sir Clarence Gastropont. Fernand Croker. Flaps McQueen. Hey! Flaps. Could have done it without you, buddy. Morag. And introducing Draggy Ceiling Eater as himself. My band, Draggy. Pretty much my beard. Numerators and denominators. Frog fractions. Here's your bug coffee, Mr. President. Heavy on the cream. Alright, well, we are now bug president. So, <clears throat> bug economy manager. Hmm. Well, there it is hot and dry. We've got two million Zorkmans, and we're now going to produce some bug porn. Yeah, see, apparently the entire duty of being bug president on Bug Mars is just to produce bug porn. That's it. So, basically, the guy who heads the porn industry runs the world here. That's awesome. All right, here we go. <clears throat> so... Cost to produce it is 10,000 Zork mids per megabyte. How many megabytes do we want to make? Let's... 
Well, it doesn't really matter because as president, I can just produce all the money I want. So it doesn't really matter how successful we are at this, which is good because as a tycoon, I'm abysmal. I can't, I can't really manage assets that well. I'm just super bad at it. Okay, so let's just produce 20 megabytes. How many pop-up banner ads at 15,000 do you want to purchase? Let's purchase three. And how much do we want to charge per megabyte? Well, it costs us 10,000 per megabyte. And we just spent about 45,000 in advertising. Uh, boy, math. Math is not my strong suit. Uh, so let's just, let's charge, well, it's still not going to be a huge profit, but let's charge 20000 I prefer something more uh, parthenogenic. <laughs> yeah, boy. Um, juvenile bugs posing as health inspectors gave your product the thumbs up everybody wants to see. The dry weather makes thirsty bugs clamor for your product. Okay, so we made 20 megs at 10000 sold 20 megs at 20000 Hey, we actually made a profit of 155,000. Not bad. I could I could make a living at this. Oh my gosh. What am I doing on YouTube? I could be I could be putting out pixelated bug porn. How many Zorkmids do you want the want to order the Federal Bug Reserve to print? Um, how's about 9 million? I guess we'll let your successor worry about the inflation problem. Yeah. <laughs> Indignity at five. What? Why? Okay, let's see what we got here. Well, it doesn't matter if I buy the durians now. We don't deal with any more fruit. So, bug drugs. Drugging the water supply will pacify the delinquent bugs, keeping them off the streets and out of trouble, and not, coincidentally, staying home and watching bug porn. That's two million zorkments. So that's why I printed so many. Um, meteorology satellites. System of satellites that help your meteorologists provide more accurate and precise weather forecasts. Three million zorkments. And padlocks, two million. And then five million. Hmm. Did I actually buy? So I was actually three million short from everything we need, so I'll print three million more next time. Well, let's just start simple and drug the water supply. Huh. So thunderstorms, that means people are going to be inside, but there's a chance that uh, it's going to kick our power off. That's not good. Um, How many megabytes do we want to make? Let's make... 50. Let's purchase 10. You should charge more for your product than it costs to produce. Let's charge 25,000. Uh, that's still not a huge profit. We're going to make it 35,000. Thanks, but uh, I'm into ladybugs. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the bug porn sensors are working today. There will be no bug porn available at bug retail. Ah, that just cost us a lot of money. Oh wait, the bug porn sensors bought all my bug porn at lunchtime. Great. So, wow. Whoa, we just made a billion dollar profit. <laughs> Whoa. No, million dollar profit. Sorry, sorry, I cannot read today. Usually I'm a really good reader. Okay, well, we just made a million hundred thousand dollar profit. That's pretty great. Let's print another nine million more, because even though that's more than we need, that'll let me retire a rich man, you know. So let's get the weather satellite, get stuff. Okay, but we did drug the water supply, so that there won't be as many people outside. Um, an outbreak of frog STDs and bug porn actors is driving the production costs up. Great. Um, so now it's going to cost us twelve thousand. Well, let's print another uh sixty megs. Let's buy fifteen banner ads and let's charge forty thousand. That would be a problem now, wouldn't it? Okay, the uh, in-house bug poor musician decided to make bug contemporary bluegrass today. Nobody's quite sure what to make of it. Bugs complained about your high prices. That's inflation, you punks! 
Uh, we only sold a little bit, but we still made $700,000 profit. So next time we just won't be able to charge as much. We'll have to keep costs down around 30, 35,000. Let's print a million more. That confident, huh? Yeah. I mean, I've printed billions before. Um, padlocks, okay. Let's get the padlocks, and then we should be able to hot and dry. If it were hot and dry for me, I would stay in. Um, let's make... Yeah, let's, let's go whole hog. We're going to make 80 megabytes more than we've made before. Let's purchase 15 more banner ads, and let's charge 35. Mm, that's a bad pun. Really bad. I uh, decided to make bug classical crossover today. Nobody's quite sure what to make of it, of course. Dry weather makes the thirsty bugs clamor for the product. They marvel at the low prices. Um, sweet, we made a billion and a million and a half dollar profit. Not a billion. Learn to read, dummy. We made a million and a half dollar profit. That's crazy. Okay. That confident, huh? Yeah. Because now we're going to buy the presidential pool and just relax. When you're done taking a break here, we need to get back to work, huh? You're absolutely right, President Lincoln. Uh, just back to the way things used to be. Just me and my turtle. These guys, good musicians, good game. Good game. Kumar Dariani, Dariani, I'm sorry. Good stuff. Man, this, this, these guys are super talented. This was great. I love this game so much. So, I'm really hoping everybody took my advice and played it for themselves before. Nice. I'm really hoping everybody took my advice and, uh, check this out for themselves before watching my playthrough of it, but uh, there you go, that was Frog Fraction. It's probably one of the weirdest things I've ever played, but one of the best, honestly. Uh, this never gets old. I've played through it five or six times by now, and it still does not cease to entertain me, and just it just puts a smile on my face. It's such a fun game. So, we did it, guys. We made it. Now we just need to sweat it out through this credit sequence, and we're golden. I, 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 I cannot believe they're actually showing the bug porn. I mean, granted, it's pixelated, that's nice. I mean, a lot of people put work into this, and I know there's been, like, whispers of uh, at Frog Fractions 2, and I haven't actually heard anything about that actually happening, so I really hope it does. I, I would love to see this through all the way. But, uh,. It's so hard to it's so hard to talk seriously to pictures like that on screen. That's, that's awful. My gosh. But uh, yeah, so it's great to be back in the saddle, back recording. Um, I'm really glad that I planned out my videos in such a way that you know I wasn't able to record for like three months, and I was still able to uh, keep bringing you guys content without it really affecting things. You know, that's that's why I always. Uh, that's why I decided when I started this channel that I was going to build up a huge buffer before I started posting videos. So, um, I'm, I'm really glad I decided to do that, uh, because that, that allowed me to deal with the school thing and all that without actually, um, without actually, you know, losing any ground here, which, yeah, I think is good. But yeah, there was the game. I love everything about it. The soundtrack, the voice work, the play control, everything is spot on. The fact that it brings in such random stuff, like um, like the text-based adventure and all that. And I mean, it's just, it's fantastic. Uh, the resource management thing is a little bit odd, but you know, it's kind of whatever. I'm, I'm glad they did it. I'm glad they did everything with this game. It just... Or just being a flash game online, just something that you can do totally free, and it only takes about, I mean, what, an hour to play through tops. It's just, it's too perfect. It's 
very, very well done. <laughs> In memory of beard number two. Oh, that's that's sad right there. It's sad. You can take headphones off and honor that. One. All right. Almost got headbanging there at the wrong time. There we go. There's all the music, and we can actually get the Frog Fraction soundtrack off of Bandcamp, which I'm totally gonna do one of these days. So, and right now. There's videos to make, so I can't write this moment, but I'm definitely going to do that. Anyway, that was Frog Fractions. Hope you guys enjoyed. I know I did. Thanks, everybody, so much for watching. Uh, make sure to like, favorite, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Make sure to check out some of the other videos I've done. Uh, check out some of my earlier ones from back when I had hair. And uh, stay tuned for more stuff in the future. I will uh, catch you guys later.